What's going on there, guys? This is Lake Oroville in Northern California, situated about 70 miles north of Sacramento, California, by the city of Oroville. It is currently sitting at 24% capacity. Total cubic feet uh, for the uh, entire lake is 3,537,000 cubic feet. It currently sits at 853,000 uh, cubic feet uh, average for this time of year just over 2,520,000 cubic feet we're looking at a current inflow of 1,577 cubic feet per second with an outflow uh, into the Feather River at about 3,114 cubic feet per second it is the second largest reservoir in California the first being Shasta Lake it is the tallest earthen dam in the United States at 770 feet high and uh, 6,920 feet across. It's an absolutely beautiful lake completed uh, back in 1968. Of course, back in 2017, February, we had a massive amount of rainfall which filled up this lake and caused the uh, spillway crisis, which a lot of folks know about. Um, and had some other issues going on there with the lake being completely full. Today, a different story. 24% capacity, folks. This is very, very concerning here uh, in Northern California. This lake, uh, a lot of people depend on this lake. Not only for recreational usage, uh, but for water usage uh, downstream further south uh, from Northern California. So the only thing I can hope and pray for is that we get... A tremendous amount of rainfall this winter but uh, you know fingers crossed let's hope that can happen current feet above sea level we're looking at about 639 uh, MSL mean sea level full it's 900 MSL so there's still some water out here but man we are way below that 900 mark 24% capacity folks so this is video number two in a series of documenting Northern California lakes and how the uh, drought is basically affecting um, all our reservoirs here in Northern California. Uh, look for the third one coming out here pretty soon. But right now this is the second one. And um, it's horrible, absolutely horrible. Kind of heartbroken to see all this uh, all these low lakes here but uh, i'm going to be doing a bunch of documentaries on all the lakes and uh we'll move on to the next one here pretty soon